kind of worked. Good evening. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over my own character based on the Metallica Death Magnetic album, which is obviously celebrating my room being redone, which I'm probably going to be saying my room has been redone for like the past five videos because I'm just that excited. I've actually been wanting to do a series based on rock bands for like a very long time now. I woke up this morning and I was like, Metallica today. Much enjoyment. Now I already have some of my favorite bands in mind that I want to create characters based off their albums, but if you guys have any rock band suggestions that you want me to base characters off of their album covers, please let me know in the description below, not the description below, in the comments below. You can't write in my description, only I can write in my description. Of course, if you're recommending a band, please also let me know which of their albums you'd like me to reference. All the products that I used to be listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you turn on the little bell so you get notifications when I post a new video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. This look is fairly simple, but can be quite terrifying. I'm starting off by using the Meiji Look Foundation Brush and White Body Paint to cover my entire neck and chest. Also making sure that I go in with another layer of white paint since I want it to be pretty white. Taking some black body paint and the Meiji Look Detail Brush, I'm then sketching out the shape of the coffin. as well as making it three-dimensional, which I decided to actually lengthen that a little bit. Using different shades of gray eyeshadow as well as black eyeshadow, I'm shading the inside of the coffin, which would be the very bottom. Oh wait, it's not a coffin, it's like a, it's like a, how do you explain it? I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of a coffin, but it's really like the bottom of like the grave. It's more like a grave shaped like a coffin. Anyways, I'm then going to be filling in the side using brown body paint. As I'm going along, I'm then adding more and more black to the brown body paint to create some darker shades and some shadows within the grave. Keeping in mind, you're only going to shade the grave on one side, and then on the other side, you're going to do it more so along the edge. Taking the Meiji Look Detail Brush and Graftobian Pro Paint in black, I'm then shading all of the edges. to create a little more of a dirt effect and then just dotting on different shades of brown around the edges. Now this is also where it's referenced directly from the album cover, like my entire chest is referenced from the album. And this realistically is just taking some black body paint and just creating some not so random lines, but more so like I said, referencing the album. It's more curved around the grave and then kind of going up and out around the top and the bottom. Using a thicker brush, I then wanted to create some more darker striations around my entire body. Go ahead and paint your face white as well as pop in your contacts if you are going to be wearing them. Continuing to use the black body paint, which I'm going to be using for my entire face, I went ahead and sketched out where I want my mouth to be. I was going for kind of like a zombie type looking mouth mixed with like some sharp teeth, which I didn't put in yet. Added my pattern around my mouth, around my jaw, on my ears. Lines my eyes, a little bit of Lexorcist. And then just continue to create a pattern around my face, mainly focusing swirls around my eyes. Finally, I added in my teeth and darkened up some of the areas around my eyes as well as around my face. 